we are going to discuss the block that is latching relay. Now, what is a latching relay? So, this is the block diagram of the block latching relay. Also, it is known as RS latching relay. So, here we are having the input set and here we are having this input reset and here we can set some parameters if you require. So, this is the latching relay that is nothing but SR latch or RS latch. So, here S and this is R. Now, the latching relay represents a simple binary memory logic. The output value depends on the input states and the previous status at the output because it is a sequential circuit. So, that is why the present input and the previous output will decide the next output of the circuit. Logic table of the latching relay we have demonstrated here. So, now you know that in case of SR flip flop, we are having this S and R inputs, set and reset inputs. When they are 0, 0, then they will produce no change in the output. When they are 0, 1, then reset is enabled, so output will be 0. But in case of 1, 0, the set is enabled, so output will be set. But in case of 1, 1, the output will be non deterministic. But here, we are having that non deterministic output has been resolved. So, here you see. If S and R both are 0, 0, then output will be status unchanged. So, what about the next output is nothing but the previous output will be prevailing there. For 0, 1, you see the reset is enabled, set is not enabled, so output is reset 0. In case of 1, 0, set is enabled, reset is not enabled, so output is getting 1, so that is it is getting set. But 1, 1, it is getting reset, that means reset is having priority higher than the set. So, reset will have the priority higher than the set. So, this reset is enabled. So, that will decide the output. So, output is getting 0 in that case. So, now if you go for the timing diagram, respective timing diagram. So, you can see that when S is equal to 1 and reset is equal to 0, then R is equal, then the output is equal to 1 because here the set is enabled, reset is not enabled. So, output is getting high. So, at this instant, you can find that reset is enabled. So, irrespective of the value of the set, the output will be reset. Again, when the set will be enabled and reset is 0, not enabled, then output will be set, output will be high in that case. When set is not enabled, but reset is enabled, output is getting reset. When the set is enabled, reset is not enabled, output is getting set, set means 1 and then it is coming to reset again because reset is enabled and set is not enabled. So, here we are having this reset is having the priority higher than the set. So, in this way we have demonstrated the RS latching relay. Let us go for one practical demonstration for the better understanding. So, we are going for the practical demonstration right now. In this session, we are going to discuss one block known as latching relay. So, this is our latching relay. Here we have brought this latching relay already existing and here it is having one input that is a set another input known as a reset. With set and reset we have connected two NO switches. So, this is our NO block that is a make contact and this is also make contact block. So, corresponding connections have been made and this is my one make contact against this particular latching relay and one output that is a relay coil. Okay. Now, let me go through the help of this latching relay at first. So, it tells that S is denoting the set output Q of a signal at input S. So, S is actually denoting the input that is for the set. R is denoting the input that is for the reset. That is very important. Reset has a priority over set. So, when both set and reset will be enabled, then reset is having the priority higher than set. So, the output will be reset in that case. The parameter is retentivity, we can make it on or off and Q is the respective output. So, when in case of SR latch, we know that whenever we are having 0, 0, that means neither set or reset is enabled, then status will remain unchanged. So, 0, 1 means reset is enabled, output will be reset, that means the Q will be 0. In this case, the set is enabled, but reset is not enabled, then output will be set. That means the output will be 1. When both set and reset both are enabled at the same time, reset has priority over set. So, the output will be reset. That means the output will become 0. 
So that is one another parameter is there that is the retentivity. When retentivity is enabled, the output signal corresponds with the signal status prior to the power failure. So we shall discuss everything through the demonstration. So here you see when both are zero, then output is with the no change state. So let us suppose the set is enabled and reset is not enabled. So output has been set. Here set is and reset is enabled as well as the set. So output has become reset. So when set and reset both are zero, then output is remaining status unchanged. When set is enabled, output has become set. When set and reset both has become zero zero, then the status remain unchanged. Again reset has been enabled, output has been reset. Set is enabled, reset is disabled, output is set. Reset is enabled, output has become reset back again. When set and reset both are zero, then output has got status unchanged. So in this way, the timing diagram can be easily be explained. Okay, now let us go for the simulation for the better understanding. So this latching relay is under the miscellaneous group. So I'm going for the simulation. So this is our simulation. If set is enabled, reset is not enabled, output is set. When set and reset both are disabled, output is unchanged. That means it was set. So now also it is set. When reset is enabled, output is reset. When reset is enabled, I'm making the set enabled at the same time. Reset is having the priority higher than set. So when set is enabled, reset is disabled, output is our set. So now see here, I'm just switch of this power. I've done the switch off of this power. So initially before getting this one switch off, this was one. So now I'm making this one switch on again. So here you see the retentivity was not there. So that's why it is not uh, having the prior state of the switch off. That was, that was the on state for Q1. So now let me make this one with the retentivity enabled. So now I'm making this one enabled and going for OK. Now see, we're going for the simulation back again. So here you see this is enabled and we have made that one set reset both disabled and it is enabled now. Power has been cut. Again the power has been switched on. Again the power has been switched on. Here you see due to the retentivity the Q1 has become back to the its uh, state which was there prior where having the power break. So it is getting it on. So this is our retentivity. So in this way we have done enough experiments with this uh, latching relay and we will be using this latching relay in the various projects which will be coming next. Thanks for watching this video.